What's up guys? We're here at the field today. It's a nice day, a little windy, uh, a little bit cooler. Um, I'm in a good mood because I got a forward swept wing and my boy Max Verstappen uh, dominated the race yesterday. So uh, I know it's not related to airplanes, but I just want to gloat and, uh, and smash it in all the haters' faces. So anyway, uh, I'm going to uh, I'm going to show you what we got today. This is um, this is a plane that I've I've worked on for quite a while, and I'm finally ready to to get it to get it going again and uh, and get it out to you guys because so many people are asking for it, and uh, it's one of my favorites. So check this out. All right, we got the X29. X29 forward swept wing active canards. You have six control surfaces. Who can spot them? <laughs> Let me show you the bottom real quick. So this is my my original test mule. So the the Elevon setup is I call it the tractor. It's the four by four Elevon setup there. Uh, it is running off of two nine gram servos, and then you got uh, three and a half gram servos uh, with the uh, with the canards. So uh, they the canards are only in pitch authority, so up and down. They do not uh, do anything with roll because you don't need it. It's got plenty of roll authority. So uh, yeah, we're gonna fly this thing again. I haven't flown this thing. It actually took a ride with me all the way out to Fly Fest in the RV. So almost every plane that I brought out there got destroyed because of the heat. I don't know if this one did. It never left the RV. Um, I don't know if the wings were warped. I'm, I looked at the wings and they don't look warped to me. Uh, yeah, they don't, they don't look bad. So I think this is the only one that survived. So I'm going to get my the camera ready to go and then we're going to fly this thing and see how it flies. And I want to get a final CG because the last thing I have to do is I have to get the CG bumps on the wings and come up with a printing profile where like the wings are kind of, are kind of long and thin. So you're going to want to print, definitely you're going to want to print this wing section in a heavier uh, grid and actually both, both of the wings are going to be in heavy grid and then everything else can be pretty pretty uh, lightweight so let's uh, let's get this thing up in the air okay we got the the 4x4 Elevon set up here you can see and then the canards are running opposite in uh, in pitch so uh, yeah let's, let's throw this up let's see what we got we're throwing into the wind this direction here how did I throw this last time no good way to throw this thing. All right, Gonna throw it right into the wind this way. Ooh, whoa, it's got pitch authority for days. I'm not used to it, wow. Okay. You gotta be easy on the uh, on the controls. It's got a lot of roll authority and it wants to nose up. It wants to high alpha, and I remember that now. I remember that it wants to do that. I'm running a 1500 4S in here now, 50 millimeter fan. Ooh. Yep. <laughs> All right, okay, okay, okay. My, uh, my CG is off. I need more front weight, okay. All right, it flies great though. It's just the CG is, uh... now I'm not gonna touch the, uh... I'm not gonna touch the, hold on, let me bring it in. The problem is all the grass is so dead right now that the landings are gonna be really, really rough. Let me just bring it in like this. Okay, that was a little rough. All right, I'm gonna, um, I gotta move the CG forward a little bit. Everything looks good. 
canards are good all right so the pitch is really sensitive so i gotta i gotta dial down the pitch a little bit and i want to the roll and the pitch everything can come down i don't need i do not need i need more expo in the roll and i actually could use some expo in the okay so first the first things first let's get the 2400 in here let's get the 2400 in let's fire it up i hear a helicopter in the background you guys can't see what i'm doing here let's see where we are we are a little outside the blue that's a little too much i believe this back a little a little bit too far outside the blue the blue dot right here blue dot all right so i am like i'm right outside of the blue dot okay so we're going to try that as the cg and then the next thing i want to do is dual rate and expo the aileron can come down to 80. I'm gonna go up to 40, 45, and then elevator. I wanna keep the rate up, but I need, I need 15%. Okay. There we go. Okay, let's throw this thing up. It's definitely gonna nose down because I have a lot of more, a lot more uh, nose weight here. All right, let's do this again. Let's get her flying into the wind. There we go. Better. Roll. This, this this plane would do so much better at a larger scale. I'll be honest. The 50 is, it. there's a lot going on for such a small plane. And I'm in the wind today, this, which is crazy. It sounds good though. I gotta turn this thing down again, guys. I honestly think that it could even, it's getting really tossed. I think the CG is pretty good. I'm gonna move it forward just a hair again. Ooh, that was a little rough. All right, oh, no, I don't know actually. The CG was pretty good, but I just wish it was, I wish I, I was flying the 1500, because the 1500, it's not as heavy. This thing is very, very robust. Oh, I broke a, I broke a servo. Oh, and I don't have any glue with me. Oh no, the field is so dead. We haven't had any rain here in the longest time. And I don't have, I don't have any glue, unfortunately. Oh, that's a bummer. All right, I'm gonna have to, uh, I'm gonna have to go find, glue stupid stupid i didn't bring any all right maybe i will come back maybe i'll go fix this and find a way to to get a 1500 to balance in here and then get some glue for this thing and, and get it flying all righty guys we are back fix the uh the elevon and we're gonna get another flight in what i did notice guys is the quad Elevon setup without the canards is going to be, I think it's going to be the way. Uh, I'm not going to, I don't think I'm going to release it with uh, with the canards active. So I'm going to fly this thing. I, I got it to balance good with a, um, with a 1500. So we're going to do that. We're going to throw it up. We got wind and I found the one patch of grass that I can land in without ripping the bottom off this thing. 
So, uh, okay. Look, you can see how, how dead the grass is everywhere else. So I got it balanced, slightly nose heavy, pretty much on the dots of where it's supposed to be. And we're gonna throw it up. Oh yeah, so much better. A lot better. Yep. Yeah, the Elevons. Okay, I'm gonna print the new one. I'm gonna print the new one without. And it is windy. And I need I have to trim it out a little bit, guys. Oh my god, the wind is changing every second. Flies so much better without the, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, without the canards. So cool. Install it. Well, I'm stalling it downwind, which is stupid. My Ella, my, my canards are a little bit uh, out of whack in terms of trim. So I need to fix that. All right, so this is good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna print the, uh, I'm gonna print the new one. This is actually a really good test that I just did. Uh, just to make sure that it's gonna, it's gonna all work right. All right, now I got a little more dialed. Yep. A lot of wind today. Slow her down. It's cool. Definitely cool. I like it. Look at this thing. Oh. Oof. <laughs> the roll rate is crazy. All right, I'm gonna walk out just a little bit. CG, I would say it's actually probably back a little. No, but you want it to. You want it to be. You want it to sit in that, in that cool high alpha node. Oh, I almost lost it. <laughs> That's the thing with the forward swept wings, guys. You don't want to. You don't want to cut the speed and kill it um, before you make your turn. Good. That's exactly what I wanted. Okay. Let's uh let's do one more quick flight. Let's see if we can get one more flight in without a crash. This thing is my original uh test mule here and it has been through the ringer. It's had multiple things cracked and broken. Um uh, oh you know what? I should probably sub trim my canard. Uh, this canard is slightly down. That one's a lot down. Okay, so I'm, I have things fighting each other right now, big time. And uh, this battery is barely even in there. All right, where's my 1500? 15. All righty. Let's see where our CG is. I am, I am, little bit in front of the blue marks here okay now which one is trimmed wrong that one okay so 
Servo setup, travel, sub trim. Uh, which one is it? It's the, is it this one? No. No. Oh, I can't individually trim the one, I think. All right, I have to just bend it. Oh, okay. All right, that worked. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's fly it again. One more time, real quick. And let's see if we can get a better, better flight in. All right, into the wind. This way, it's, it's into this, this is into the wind this time. better. Yep. See, what I did was I adjusted that, that canard to be, to be more in line with the other one. Wow. Look at this thing. Twenty nine is a cool bird, I have to say. Look at this thing! Ooh, almost lost it <laughs> again. <laughs> I have so much Expo built in. I am not used to flying a plane with Expo. So what I would do on the next one, which I'm going to do, I'm going to rewatch this video. I'm going to turn the rates way down. This is the way I'm going to land. I'm going to turn the rates way down, okay? So I don't have to use Expo. It does not need a lot of rate. It needs a lot of rate in the uh, in pitch authority. That's what it does. It does need that. Because it needs all the... But I did lengthen the rear uh, elevators. Or the rear elevons. We're going to slow down. Hi, Alpha. Hi, Alpha. Hi, Alpha. That's the way the wind's going. Look at this thing. It's so bizarre. It's such a weird airframe. <laughs> All right, I'll bring this in. I'm gonna print a fresh one. Oh, a little rough. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna definitely print off a second one and uh, make things more simple. And uh, hopefully we can get a, a good viable airframe for you guys to fly. I think honestly, the, big, the biggest trick is gonna be, this thing needs to be, it needs to be a larger airframe. I think 64 is the way to go with this guy, so. All right guys, uh, thanks for watching this video and uh, maybe you'll see another X29 soon, thanks.